Happy Friday, everyone. This week, it's a slight extension from last week. As you can see, my easel is bare because I decided after the upload, I would take a break. So now it's Tuesday and I have received some more art materials. I know, I know. So this week we're gonna discuss the Windsor & Newton Pro Markers. And I got a few packs of them. The only actual pens I've got is the acrylic pens and also some Sharpies. Sharpies are just too much. So the colours are Sky Tones, Landscape, Mid-Tones and Rich Tones. So I got four packs. I will obviously link them down below. Thanks again, Christine, for giving us all collective permission to do what we love, spend money we don't have on stuff we more than likely don't need. So I did a swatch running because I was a bit of an eager beaver. This book was gifted to me and it's a two in one sketchbook and it's specifically for alcohol markers. Have never seen or used this type of sketchbook before, but we can have a look at it together. I have had a bit of a go and it just seems very odd that if it's a book for alcohol markers, why then would it still seep through? And that actually was even worse. So that is not a good start. Here are the swatches that you get with the actual pack. I wouldn't say they're true to tone, uh, just from the swatches I've already done. This was the darker of the two. I will actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, that's rubbish, isn't it? It doesn't even come off very well. So it's got these like little lines where you can kind of rip it, but it, that doesn't really work either. I'll be perfectly honest. And that's really gonna mess with my OCD now. So I've got to do it all and I've got to commit. I did one on white paper and I did one on the cream ivory paper. This is a double tip pen. So the chisel, they've got a chisel. That's the side I used. And they've also got, which by the way, is a nightmare to get off, the small thinner tip this though is an absolute ball ache to get off but you can see that tonally they're much lighter but i think it's because this paper is more sucky sucky than that paper this has got more of a kind of satin film on it whereby it, the paper doesn't soak up the ink as much whereas on this side you can see that it's far darker i mean that's not too bad, I suppose. The blue, well, is it, I mean, the, the actual swatch is a lot greener. It's not too bad. Also, they say you can mix, like mix them, layer them, all that good stuff, which I've never ever done before. So I'll be intrigued to actually see if they can do all that they protest. I started a little thing just as I was doodling. Where are you? Nothing major. I have never used felt tips for anything before, but I thought they were a good addition based on the fact that they were dry and I could I could use them downstairs, on the go, have one in my handbag. So they're quite versatile. Remember, versatility, guys, is all in the versatility. I'm just going to pick up an ink bottle and I'm just going to draw... I just want to feel it. I'm just going to pick random colours, see if I can indeed layer them, mix them. And let's see if pale goes on top as well, like a pale colour. Just got them all in this bloody bag. Right, let's see if we can get a pale colour out. So that doesn't make a difference whatsoever, does it? Oh, I don't know, actually. Oh, it does guys what that's mental they do layer that is so weird i'll just show you what i've done on here because i think it will be better right so here is a swatch a test swatch i'll do a couple i'll just do a couple yeah let that dry a bit now this is what colors this champagne Ooh. It says you can layer on them and it's like, right, well, the good test of layer, and it does, it does layer. Uh, slightly, but it layers nonetheless and it doesn't transfer to the nib as well. That would have gone right through, look at that. 
that's even gone through to the other side so in terms of the actual book being an alcohol marker book lies Liza Minnelli see what I mean look at that it does lighten it up that is so odd do you know what I mean so you can obviously make it darker as you know but just to give you a better idea wow obviously it's not you know perfect it does bleed and it's a bit pity but i think that's texture you know i mean well that the book in itself has just bloody failed isn't it let's see this side yeah i mean look at that alcohol marker book my behind I mean, maybe, maybe because they've got twin markers that it's just for their own brand of markers. But alcohol markers are alcohol markers. Do you know what I mean? So the book itself, I, was, I wasn't going to obviously review the book, but I thought, right, well, I've got a bunch of alcohol markers. I've got a sketchbook that is been made for alcohol markers. I thought maybe, just maybe, we've got a really good combo here for today's video. But clearly, clearly not. And easy to tear. My aren't whole definitely not so there we go that's the book i wouldn't rate this book at all um nice paper though i think i can do other stuff and it. it's a good size i can rip it out fine so i'll still use it i'll still get my use out of it but don't say it can do something when it cannot do something so i'm going to get my own paper because these were poor and we're going to test it out so i literally went away for a minute and grabbed some pre-made surfaces because I think the Winsor & Newton alcohol markers protest to be multi-surface pens, which means they go on anything. Well, mostly anything. So wood, glass, all that good stuff. So we have no need to go on wood or glass at the moment. The future is bright. But I did pick out in my little scrap box some different surfaces that I would normally. So canvas, I've got the brown paper, pre-made paper. I just got this because I thought, well, it's already been worked on. Yes, it's in ink. Gessoed and textured paper. So I thought that would be good. And my normal caddy paper. You know, I don't know what GSM this is. I cannot for the life of me remember, but either, even so, it's a paper that I would normally go on. So let's try out the canvas for size. So I doubt they'll go on black. Yeah, so no, they're not really going on, but I'm just gonna do a couple. I'm not gonna do them all because there's a whole bloody bag there. Do you know what I mean? We'll be here forever. I wouldn't say it's brilliant, you know. I think I would probably do is take the thin end. Oh my god, see what I mean? These they've got a nib here for you to pop it up, but I'm telling you now that that going into your thumb that hurts that really hurts so oh god i could map out do you know what i mean and then potentially go over my little box of travel say neo twos let's go for a lighter one the whole idea for this is dry mediums though but i'm just for argument's sake I've got it everywhere, haven't I? Bloody hell. So I could potentially layer, like mark out a piece with them and then layer on top of them with different bits and bobs. And I think that could create quite nice texture as well, to be honest. So canvas is a go. They go on canvas. Okay, crepe paper. Ooh. So they are true to their colour on on this craft paper. Oh, that's a nice green, isn't it? Right, where's that champagne? The champagne is the one of the lightest I have. Well, obviously it just looks more wet, doesn't it? But I think it still creates a nice tone. I don't know why I'm doing plants or foliage. I'm still in my foliage stage. So you could get it down and then do that. Oh, that is a nice colour on that craft paper. What about Neo 2s? Oh. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Layer. Layer. You know I love a layer. Hmm. And they don't come through. Because once they've dried, once that's dried, it's gone. They, they, they go lighter on this paper, it seems. But it means that I can put it down and then work on top of brilliant 
love it on that paper. Now this is the caddy paper. Oh, it's a nice color. What's this one? Praline. Ooh, praline. Oh, that is a delish color, isn't it? That. What's that one? Prussian. Prussian blue. Mm, delicious. Let's go for a pink, shall we? I mean, that's good on caddy paper. I don't, I don't know what GSM this is as well, but it's decent quality paper, so. Right, now let's see if it goes on top of gesso, because if it does, it might be a bit of a game changer. Oh, it does, it does. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? They do, they go over the gesso quite well, actually. There's no sort of, like, drying or what have you. The acrylic pens don't go over gesso very well or any other medium. They, they kind of dry up, go into themselves. It's not pleasant. It's not a pleasant experience. Uh, I don't, it does create some nice texture, but I don't enjoy using the acrylic pens on pre-worked or pre-gessoed paper. I just don't like it. It's just a really painful experience. So to have these and be able to work over gesso when I gesso over sketchbooks, that's brilliant. Now this is ink. This is acrylic ink. And I think they'll be absolutely fine on this, to be fair. Yeah, if they can go over gesso, I mean, Jesus, they can go over this, can't they, really? It's just so versatile, and it goes over black quite well, actually. It kind of creates this nice purple. Oh, and it's mixing in with the ink, and it's... Oh, it does transfer a little bit, but I think that's more the acrylic ink than it is the pens, I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> Again, brilliant. So they'll go over other works. So let's get some of this down. This is Neo 2's and I'll get some pastel down too. Let's see if they go, get a darker color. Ooh, oh right, that is a very interesting. So what's happening there is just obviously, because it's because it's wet initially when it goes down. I mean, I've got to get that out now. Because it's wet initially, it's it's kind of moving the Neo Neo 2s around. I'll get that, I'll wipe that off. And then with this, it goes on there quite happily. So, because this is, because the pens initially, when they go down, are wet, they are activating the Neo 2s. And if you don't know what Neo 2s are, Caran Dash Neo 2s are crayons, but very posh crayons that are water soluble. They do have a non-water soluble version. So there's that. So it's kind of reacting with that, which is kind of a cool thing. And then I just had some soft pastel um, to see if they go over that, because like I said, my acrylic pens, I love them so much, but they don't go over. So trying to get layers, trying to do mixed media, which you, as you know, I'm all about. Very difficult, right? These aren't cheap. So for six, it's about, it was 10 pounds. So they're not, they're not cheap. So these are the colorways I got. So I got packs of six. The full pack, well, I say the full pack, but a version of the full pack is 169 pounds. And then the one below that, which I think has got like 40 colors in is 69. I will link the different ones below. I will certainly link these, th these four, but in each of these, there will be like a, a menu at the bottom of that purchase. The other thing I did research, which I was quite delighted in, I thought to myself, well, okay, I've got a landscape one, got a size skyscape one, because I always find in the landscape ones, they always forget about the sky. And it's like, well, if you're doing landscape, you're very rarely going to do a landscape without sky. So that's something that really annoyed me. Then I thought, right, well, I'll get some rich tones because you know I like my flowers. And I thought, right, well, I'll get a medium tone because to sort of balance out all of that with my foliage, my flowers, make it as versatile. So I thought, right, well, that's a good collection. When other brands do these types of packs, more often than not they will go oh that color will look good in this pack i'll put that and that so when you do start kind of collecting packs of different colors more often than not you'll find you have two of the same pen uh, that annoys me because if you're going to do packs you want to be making sure the customer needs a different color in each you know different sets so you then you don't want to kind of start using the same greens or the lighter green in each pack. Do you get my meaning? The two that I was more concerned about was the two green tones in these two packs, making sure they are not doubling up. The other thing is the blues, right? You've got a blue here and I thought, well, hopefully the blues will not be repeated on here. 
because it is expensive and you don't want to be getting a pack for say one like one or two colors you want to be making sure you're getting you know each pack has different colors in and thankfully i went through all the packs and when you see them believe me there's a lot of them there is no overlap in each pack so you could get randomly four packs and they'll all have different colors in that is a very good prof in my mind so that's a really good bit of information um right this is dry now right so let's oh this is what happens with the acrylic pens on pretty much any other medium. They'll kind of go down, pick a load of stuff up, and then it will just ruin the nib. So that annoys me because it's like, well, how are mixed media artists meant to survive out here with this type of stuff? It deposits and then it picks up, you know? It, it and then and then you get situations like this. It does come off, but it, it leaves a film, so I won't be able to use I won't be able to use these two together. That's fine. I mean, it's not ideal because now I want to use them together because I know I can't. Human condition, what can I say? But these two are not compatible. In fact, let me have a look. So let's do another testaroonie. So this is oil pastel. Now, oil pastels never dry, but I am going to test it out. Okay, right, I'm going to do another test because that was a really <laughs> test because I think, I think we've just stumbled across something here that I'm quite excited about. I'm so confused. How has that happened? Someone explain the science behind what I've just witnessed. Okay, 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 okay. right. Let me try another one because I, I'm, I'm getting excited now because there's, there's, there's so many ideas I have. Okay, that's so weird. I'm really confused, right? So they go over quite happily and it also changes color and everything, which I think is amazing. That's, I'm really excited about that. This is just cheap oil pastel. Do you think I should, tr I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is Sennelier and you know I love my Sennelier, but I use them sparingly because they were a gift from my husband and they are, Oh my god, they feel just delicious to be honest. But they are very expensive. The science would tell me that they shouldn't transfer on. They should just sort of like bloop bloop bloop. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Maybe there's something someone else knows that I don't. Okay, well, that makes more sense to me. So that doesn't transfer. That's what I was expecting to happen. Obviously, when you combine oil and water, they don't mix, as you know, right? So Where's that other testaroonie that I had? So when it was going over quite nicely and not doing that watery thing, or that kind of, like this, where it just kind of, you know, transfers, it wasn't doing that. But on here it is, you know, where it's depositing and then taking back off, as you would normally expect. So they're multi-purpose. Brilliant. I'm probably going to do some quite low-key videos in the coming weeks. Things have just been quite hectic of late. Last week's video was probably one of my best in terms of doing it, editing it, and, and kind of all that good stuff and getting you guys involved certainly was the best part for me. But I will start off by saying that I will continue to upload each week but the next few weeks are going to have to be fairly low key. Uh, they are going to be great subjects. There's going to be one on texture, like creating texture, but specifically with grounds. I'm going to push the whole sand and the whole glitter, so really get some textures. And I'm going to throw some untraditional textures in as well. So that will be next week's video. A lot of my artwork at the moment is uh, dry because any time that I do have to do anything creative at the moment, it, it's certainly in the over the next next couple of weeks. Like sketchbook work is going to be like fundamental. I, I want to be authentic and I want to give you a reason as to why some of the content over the next say two, three weeks might be low key. And that is purely because of what we discussed last week. I do not want to get burnt out, but I can't afford to not upload. I know that some of you have been amazing about that and I appreciate you all so much for it. 